Once you've removed all your buttons and the ball top, you have to remove the artwork from the top of the stick. And wow, it's really on there. We found that it's basically it's a decal that kind of is stuck to the metal plate that really is the top of the stick. And this decal can be very difficult to get off. And you want to be careful, obviously, because the last thing you want to do is damage the metal plate. So as you can see, what Howard's done is he's finally found a spot where he could get his wrench, or his wrench, his screwdriver underneath this decal, and then you basically just gotta fucking tear it off. There's nothing else to it. But again, be careful. You don't want to use too much brute strength, because if you snap that metal plate, you now lost the joystick, unless you're gonna buy a replacement online. What we actually did with the 360 stick is we used uh, wire cutters to cut through a lot of the decal. Over there? Oh, there they are. Right there. Basic small wire cutters, little snippets. So you can use that to cut around the edges. The hardest part of the decal to get off is around the buttons because it's so narrow between the buttons, it can get caught. So what you're going to want to do is, as Howard's doing here, cut between the buttons as you pull up the decal. It makes it a little bit easier. Be careful because the decal is thick and you don't want to accidentally end up cutting yourself too. Yes, this is time consuming as well, but this is an important step. If you don't do this, your artwork will not properly stay on the top of the stick. Here you go. As you get to this side, it usually comes off pretty easily. Yep, comes right off there. What you'll notice Hori did is they actually sanded down around the joystick where the bolts were actually sticking up so that it would be a flat top. That's what those little sanding marks are around the joystick. All right, this actually was a lot easier than the 360 stick. The 360 stick was a pain. There was a lot of glue left over. So the first thing you want to do is inspect the top and make sure that there is no glue left over because you don't want it sticking to your custom art and the next thing you know you're stuck with that custom art forever because it's physically part of your stick. Um, it looks like in our case it came off pretty clean. There's really nothing uh, left over. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the custom art and, with, and the plexiglass and we're going to carefully place it down aligning it with the joystick. It might not be absolutely perfect, but it doesn't have to be. And then what you're going to do is quite simple. You're going to pop your buttons right back in there by just pushing them in. Or you actually use these snap it type buttons that just snap right into the holes. And you can buy those online or you can buy screw ons, which basically the button goes in the hole and then there's a, a nut or a screw on connector that holds it in from the other side of the joystick. There's that style right there. And we're actually going to use two of those for the start and the select buttons on the joystick. Obviously, if you've purchased better buttons, you can purchase Sanwa buttons, you can purchase Simitsu buttons. There's several different companies that make them. They each have a different feel. A lot of people like the Sanwa. A lot of people say the Simitsu's better. I personally like them both. I really don't think there's a major difference between them. So... Now we're going to do these uh, screw-on buttons. We'll show you how to do one of those. Basically the button goes right in the hole there. And then from the other side of the joystick, you use that screw-on ring and tighten it to keep it in place. Now what you've seen is that this 8-button joystick now became a 6-button joystick because we bought a 6-button plexiglass template. Two buttons are not being used and that's for pro players, it's kind of annoying because we've always been used to been playing on six buttons. When they made all these joysticks with eight buttons, you get distracted. Like, where's my hand supposed to be? With only six buttons, you don't have that distraction. It's very straightforward. All right, so now that we've done that, we be sure to put on your protector um, before you try to re, re you know do the joystick. We made that mistake on the last one. We did not put the protector and the dust cover back on before we tried to put the joystick back together and it was a pain in the ass. 
So now, because we haven't put it back together, you can go back to the bottom of the joystick, put that screwdriver in the slot, and tighten the bolt of the uh, ball top. Make sure it's nice and tight because you don't want it in your ball top coming off in the middle of a match, that's for sure. All right, so we now have the amazing task of attaching the wires back to the buttons per the notes that we took right here. So it says the first button here, the jab was yellow. So we gotta find the two yellow wires in this mess of wires. <laughs> Looks like a fucking Medusa haircut. <laughs> You're going to want to separate them out from all the rest. You don't want a big ball of mess of wires. You're going to make sure that they're all separated nicely so they don't interfere with each other. And you quite simply, whoops, we got a spring. <laughs> quite simply, you just, uh-oh, you're going to have to hold it from underneath probably when you push that on. Reconnect those wires, make sure they're nice and tight. And you do that for all of the buttons. And once you've done that, you come back and uh, once we've done that, we'll come back and we'll show you what the next step is.